Yo, so alright, what up y'all, man? It's your boy IDKTJ, man. We back with another one, man. So yeah, today we got my boy Cam, man. Giving him a nice little drop fade. So yeah, let's go and get into it, man. So the first thing I did when I did his drop fade was I came in with my little big old brown brush in my hand and brushed it down, man. Then after that, I came in with my one and a half guard open first, then I closed it, I think, after that. And then, well, to just debunk there. Because when you start off clean and you can see what you're doing, you're going to end off clean. So, yeah. After that, I came in with my wall cordless detailers and I put my guideline in. I started my guideline like halfway into the curve because I like to have the C cups when I do my drop fade. So, yeah, I started right there and just came up a little bit more when I got behind the ear then when I got behind that I just dropped it because that's the whole purpose of a drop fade but yeah then I came in with my clipper open to set in my second guideline all the way around the head I kept it consistent all the way around going up like an inch to half an inch it's going all the way around the head going over it multiple times to make sure that it's all one link And right here to take that first guideline out, you want to come in with the with the uh, lever halfway open and go halfway up into that guideline. And then after that, to get the line really out, you want to come in with the clipper closed and just use the corner of the blade to flick at that bottom part of the line to really get the line out. So yeah, just do that around the whole head like you see me doing now. Alright, so after you get out that first guideline, you want to come in with your clipper with the one guard on it open and then make another inch going up. But right there, like you just seen me do, after you go up about an inch with your clipper open, you want to come back and it's going to be a line between the clipper open and the one guard open. You want to come back to that line and close the lever up halfway and then go back on it again with the clipper all the way closed with the one guard on it of course and just do that around the whole head so you will have a second blend instead of just being like the like the one guard just straight for like an inch it's gonna fade down so you can have a blend because you want to have a blend in like the whole fade so yeah if you get what i'm saying y'all yeah, get what i'm saying and right here I got on my one and a half guard because I'm trying to make the blend fade into the hair on top because you don't want the fade just sitting I mean you don't want the hair just sitting on top of the fade you, you want to make it all blend together so right here I got my one and a half guard closed just blending the fade to the bulk of the hair on top So once I got done with that, I came in with my .5 guard to finish up the uh, blend. But right here, I was showing my uh, boy Cam, man, that that uh, dry spot that he had on his head, man. So I don't, hey, he said he washed his hair and stuff like that. He moisturized it. I, I I don't think he did. I think he was lying to me. Wait, like, 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 still forget that. Yeah. So I got on my .5 guard, just just trying to blend in that last line in between the clipper open and the one guard open so yeah right here i only use the corner of the blade it's places where like you can use the whole blade but most of the time you're gonna only use the corner so you won't push up that guideline all you got to do is start at the bottom of that guideline and then just flick up to that line that you see in the face to get it out and after that now we just detailing this in the last step that we just did the two longest steps of the fading process but right here i'm detailing the uh, cut I'm, i'd like to detail the cut with the clipper open and then just use the corner of the blade to to like just pick at the dark spots in the fade 
to soften it up. Basically like a thinning shear, but using the clipper. So yeah, I just do that around the whole head to make the fade look as perfect as possible. Alright, so now after that I got done detailing, I, I'm starting the lineup prep. The first thing that I do when I start my lineup prep is I comb the hair down and then come in with my one guard open. I think I came in with it open right here. Usually I, I do it open, but if I like it shorter, I just close it. And then I come in with my got to be glue. All you can use any hairspray that you got. Just spray it on there to hold the hair down and then just come back and brush the hair down so you can get it nice and laid so you can put that crispy line up on there. Now for the line up, I like to start in the middle and then go to the right side first and then do my right side vertical bar and my right arch. When you're doing the arch, you want to use like half of the clipper blade to like set in a straight line and then that's when you want to only use like the corner of the blade to like curve it. To make it look like a C. So yeah, man, just watch me put in this crispy hairline, man. So my boy Cam wanted enhancements, so I'm giving them enhancements, man. So yeah, I, I, right here I got my uh, my Tune 45 no drip that's spraying on there lightly. I don't like it dark, bro. I don't know why. Some people like it dark, but I don't. So yeah, I just sprayed it on there in a straight line around the whole hairline. Then I came in with my fibers and put that on like a few dark spots. And after that, I brushed it a little bit to make sure it ain't too dark in one spot. And then I came in with my tremors again to line it up well to re-line it up to make it look crispy and then I came in with my pencil and just traced the line up and I'm gonna use the trimmer first to go over the uh, the pencil line and then after that I'm gonna come in with my razor and do the exact same thing to really blend out that pencil and plus using the razor also helps the hairline stay there longer so yeah Keep my merch, man. You know what I'm saying? My IDK Fade shirt with the IDK Fade logo on the front, man. This the red shirt right here, man. So, yeah, man. Alright, so right here, now that I got the whole steps that I do in my fading process complete, and I got all the lines and stuff in my fade, I just come back one more time in detail and make sure that the fade is fading, man. Alright, so this is my boy Cam, man. Before the haircut right here, man. As y'all can see, he ain't looking too good, man. But luckily... He know me, man. Look at him, man. I got him right. A nice little drop fade. I oiled his scalp on that side. As you can see, his hair shiny now, man. So, yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Like and subscribe. And, yeah, man. IDKTJ, we gone.